We go, hello, little badger family. It's Teacher Ev and the, what's your name? Surprise! And we have some exciting news for you. Grandpa Bob has built some bird feeder kits. And thanks to Little Badgers and Aboriginal Head Start, we have enough to give to all of our Little Badger families. So we will be in touch for how to distribute those out to you guys here shortly. Um, but Isaac and I are going to make a video for you to show you how to put them together. All right, so first things oh, first. Oh, the wind did that. The wind blew that right over. <laughs> first Wait, things first, in your back. package, you're going to have a bag with some sandpaper and some nails. And can you count how many pieces of wood come in, in this set? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight pieces of wood. All right, so that's very important. Um, and first things first is we're going to put together the eight pieces, the two pieces that make the roof. So the roof pieces have the angled piece on it and they go together like this. And you can see because this kit was built by the amazing Grandpa Bob, he has put in the pre-drilled hole so you know where to hammer. So the easiest thing to do is to stack up your roof, your blocks, put your one piece here and your other side here so we can get that flush and Isaac has his hammer. Hammers are not coming in your kit so hopefully you have one at home or something that will work as a hammer at home. Um, we've got our pre-drilled holes so I'm just going to put our nails in the holes to start. All right Isaac have you hammered before? Yes I have hammered before. Just wait just wait for Auntie Abby to put her this here. All right, so Isaac will show us how it's done. So let's hammer those nails right in for us. Eyes on the prize. It takes a long time. Yeah, it takes some practice, right? Getting them in. So this will probably be the hardest part of your birdhouse kit. Perfect, beautiful. All right, yeah. step one, we have our V-shaped V for victory Olaf. roof. It's just like this, and a piece of wood, A, for awesomeness! <laughs> yes, and A for awesomeness. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have the square and two house parts. So what happens is that we take the smooth edge, and you want the smooth edge facing out, and the edge that Grandpa Bob cut is going to go against the house. Like this. All right, Isaac, do you have two more nails? I have two more nails. But I don't have any. <gasps> and we're just going to get one side on, and that'll make it easier to get to the other side. And, sorry, so the, the square and this guy needs to go on the top there. We'll put this one on first. All right. I did. Make sure it's flush. That means straight against the other side. That's okay. Awesome. Well, what? the roof was definitely a little bit more tricky, wasn't it? Okay, we'll do this one. Okay, I really hope this one actually will do just like the other one. Yeah, nice and fast there. Hey, watch your fingers. And it's in perfect. Woo! Okay. Oh, yeah! And then the small rectangle piece is going to go in at the top here. And you just want to make sure that you put it a little bit below the V, but sticking out the top, the roof won't go on very nice. So we're just going to put it down a little bit low. And once again, all of our nails, our pre holes, are pre drilled. Watching his Aunt Ebby's fingers. Perfectly done. Eight yours and done. Boom. That's right. All right. Then we just put the other house side on. Now that's going to be. So the same amount of nails on this one. All right. So we're ready for this section here. We've got our next three nails going in. One. Boom. Dad. Was just nine. Nine. Yeah, watch two, my fingers. Three, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, two, twelve. Okay, let's see how many. If you could do less than twelve on this one. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Yeah, eight. eight. That was Boom. Less. Oh yeah, it was eight. <laughs> it was a few less on that one. 
All right, so then our sides are going to go on, and there are three holes on our sides, one at the bottom and two on the edges. So you, you want the bottom to touch against wait, your wait, house. Wait, wait, let me check if it will fit my doll done. Yeah, check for this the This is what you should do, because if it's not completely Ooh. good. I felt a raindrop there, my friend. Yes, it good? looks pretty good when it's done. Okay, right. kids? Okay, kids. Awesome hammering. Ready for the next one? So the same thing, three pre-drilled holes. One goes at the bottom. Here we go. Here we go. Watch the nail. I'm going so I'm going to paint it. Um probably glow the dark. Oh, a glow in the dark paint. That would look really cool on a bird feeder. Yes, because then if the bird can dinner, they won't have to Hey, um, is this the bird feeder? No, it's this, this, this. They'll be able to ah, find it in the dark. All right, let's look at this last nail on there, buddy. Okay, so we've got our sides on. Then you add the roof. Then we add our roof on. And I will finish up the nails. Yeah, so there are pre-drilled. We can fix that one in a bit, but there are pre-drilled holes to get the roof on as well. Grandpa Bob thought of everything on this project for us. It was pretty nice of him. Isaac's got one crooked nail there. You might want to pop out at the end. Are we popping it out now? Okay. I think we might need another nail, Abby. Good idea, friend. Uh, looks like we've got a spare in our bag here. Just in case this happens, Just in Bob case knows happens. everything. Yep, yeah, he does. That Bob, he's pretty great. Did you know Bob was this little daddy? He is my dad. He's this guy's grandpa. I see! Keep going, you're doing great. It's a little bit harder on the angle there. You got it. You want to try this one for a bit? Get it secured a little bit more. Oh, awesome, right through. And this one here? Awesome. Okay. Now, if Eddie get crooked, it's okay to fix them and we do one, okay? Yeah, that's right. Now, you Accidents have a spare happen. nail in your bag, so if you have other nails that you made way more accidents than us, <laughs> you can use them. But if you have another project than both nails, you don't need to fix it. That's right. Okay, um, when you are done this, you can take a picture so you can always remember that day. Yeah. So our, some of our nails have popped out here just from me lying it down. So we just got to get these guys flat again. Mm. Right. Now this is why you don't pop it down. One. Perfect. Right there. Now we're going to check. You can check all your nails and make sure they aren't popped out. Yeah, so they're flush with the wood. Great. So. And he felt kind of popped out. I can see it. Yeah, so that one's okay. You think he's sticking out? You want to put another nail? No. All right, and then the last spot that Grandpa had a nail hole was so just on this side, just to tighten up the roof. Do you want to hammer in this last one, or would you like me to do it? You do it. Oh, I'm honored. I've missed twice. How many times did you miss the nail? You're pretty good. Like a professional carpenter, I'd say. All right, so Isaac and I have built our bird feeder. Um, not actually. You need to put the bird seed in, or else it'll be called a bird nothing. That's right. You need <laughs> to add some bird feeder and a hook for the top, right? We'll have to figure out a way to hang it in the tree. Yeah. Um, so there is sandpaper. You can sand the pokey edges if you'd like. You can paint it up or color it with some markers. No, if you'd like no. to see a picture of your finished bird feeder hanging in your bird trees and what kind of birds you're going to watch for. Um, thanks to incredible Isaac for helping me with this video today. Isaac. 
Isaac, and thank you to Grandpa Bob for making our bird feeders and to Aboriginal Head Start and Little Badgers for letting us have this fun. Um, if you don't get a phone call message from me about how to receive your bird feeder, then please send us a message and we'll, we'll get one to you right away. If you're not a Little Badger student and you'd like a bird feeder, send me a message. Um, we can probably see if Grandpa Bob can make us a few spares to sell. All right. Thank you guys. Have a awesome day. Bye.